are spending a spell slot. <laughs> essentially put, this turns one of his first level spells into essentially a cantrip. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You pick one singular spell, and that is permanent. Whatever spell it is you know at first level, you now no longer expend any spell slots while casting it. Ooh. That could be quite interesting. Hey, I have hey, wonder what he chose. Hello, uh, Twitch. Hello, chat. <laughs> well, I think it's pretty obvious which one I <laughs> Fireball? I, I know that. That's exactly why I looked at him and went, I know which one he's going to pick. <laughs> yeah, I'm going I'm to let the DM guess. <laughs> All right. I think Garrett, it's Fireball. I, I bet it's <laughs> Fireball. It's only first level spell. Oh, I bet it's Fireball. Yep. Yep. Derek. Would I you like know. to let everybody know what yours is? Uh, assassinate. Of course. Wait, that wasn't a feat yes. until now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I went searching for you guys. Don't worry. I do need to go to the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. Go ahead. If you wouldn't Essentially, mind. I get plus two to my dex modifier, plus three to my stealth checks. I also do... XD4 piercing damage equal to uh, the number of feet I've fallen divided by five. Yep. And if an enemy is surprised or has not noticed me, I do an additional D8 of slashing damage and get plus five to the attack roll. Essentially, he's much better at sneaky attacks. Yeah. Because he fucking vanishes. <laughs> Was that got... even necessary? And yes. I effectively got plus four to my dexterity without yes. actually increasing the score. <laughs> okay. It was wow. entirely necessary because he's fucking murdering things left or right without them even knowing he's there. He is sneaky boy. He rolled a double fucking nat 20. I'm going to sit there and go, I got to do something about this. Now, I could wow. nerf it, but that wouldn't be fun. Now, would it? Yeah. It's a PvE game, after all, with friends. <laughs> Alright, and Shadow, would you like to uh, let everybody know the boon, or not the boon, the feat that you got? Pink, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and... You have a new friend. <gasps> As a new friend. Yeah. This is this is why I wanted to go through the feats beforehand just to make sure you guys actually saw him. <laughs> I it, had a raven. Did you look at your feet? Uh, I'm looking at feet. I see skill expert, alert, boon of the Raven Queen. Oh. <laughs> and Mantle of the Raven Queen. You have chosen by a Raven Queen as an agent of her ideals and will. In return, she has come to do a small stipend of her power to help you carry her will. Starting at first level. Oh my god. Would you like uh, me to uh, summarize it for you? Yes, please. Because I'm kind of up getting my spells <laughs> essentially put you get a little helper raven the statistics of the raven are as you're familiar and you can command it while it's at 100 feet of you if you perch it on your shoulder you gain dark vision for 30 feet a bonus to your passive perception and to your wisdom checks it's equal to your charisma modifier and you can see through the raven's eyes and hear what it hears while it's in with that 100 feet of you. Essentially, it's your eyes and ears. It gives you extra bonuses, and it acts on its own during initiative. However, it is simply a raven. However, since you are past level 6, but not as a paladin, that will be your next spells. Wow. So it, essentially, at 6th level of paladin, you get the did they put buff, buff up Shadow to be a higher level spell? Probably. Boo! 
I cursed them. I actually expected to get a raven because of what happened at the windmill. Anyway, congratulations on your new pet. I got two horses and three nests <laughs> on my carriage. I'm like a All driving right. zoo now. I don't know. Looks like oh, still a second level spell. Oh wow. That's weird. Not in here, that... not in my freaking spell list as a warlock. It might have something to do with the fact that warlock is considered oh. your main class. That be the yeah. only thing that's popping in my head at the moment. I switched it to my. They uh, might have changed the paladin spell list then. Okay. Anyway, uh, rules are bendable to our will. We can make it whatever we want it to be. Yes. Now, Ravale, uh, since you've had enough time, do you have the stat block that I asked Oh, yes, have? I have everything uh, re-prepared. Uh, what Alrighty. do I roll for offline stuff again? I will tell you here in just a second. All right, wait. Um, uh, okay. Or rather, okay. what would you like me to roll first? You roll all of these at disadvantage. So your first yes. check is going to be a strength check. Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, Shadow Key. Wait, strength check, not saving throw. Uh, yes. Warlock. Okay. The Shatter is no longer a warlock spell. Why is uh, it a new in 2024? 5.5. Uh, Yikes. Um, I don't oh, see perfect. it under any chance. I need that at disadvantage. Form. So, yes. one more. There we go. Four. Okay. Give me one more. It's again, at disadvantage. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'll do something else. That was fine. In Legacy, yeah, it is a Warlock, and Warlocks always <laughs> cast the highest level of spell slot they have available. So I'm at the re -table and take the... Le Can I do that with the Legacy? People? Hold on, let me... Probably. Is it just me, or... Let me just pour my first slot. Uh, is your character sheet also leggy when you roll a dice since last update? Uh, let me see. I'm gonna check if I can do it. Yeah, that'll probably be a good check to do before we start. Yeah, I'm checking for Ooh, Mine's rolling pretty good. Ah. Alright, Rivale. Your first countermeasure has broken. That's plus, plus five, oh. so that'd be uh, 30. Ooh, 34. Yeah, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now I need you to make me a wisdom saving throw. At disadvantage. Wisdom saving throw. La, 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 la. Oh no. <laughs> Why did I choose uh, stat <laughs> upgrades? <laughs> if it works today and not last time, I I don't know what to say. <laughs> Well, don't worry. While I go through this through for Rivale, that's up I, to him. What the no, fish? Still, that's pretty good. Yes, it, yes, yeah. it's very good. <laughs> the second measure is passed. All right. Make me another wisdom saving throw at disadvantage. Uh huh. Why are you a leggy? Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not it it's sa the same again why is it so close the second measure has been passed are you kidding me <laughs> hey come on mathematics <laughs> it's, it's i don't know hey come on i was pulling up such an amazing plan um, you did make a very good plan i will admit that i know <laughs> it, thank you it was very fun but hey come on like what's one the point more. of doing? Yeah, what's the point Give of doing? Give me one doing... more wisdom saving yeah. throw. It. <laughs> what's the point of making a plan if it never works? <laughs> Please, bless it. I'm doing it in everyone's interest. <laughs> Amen. Let's see. Where are you Please let it be an eight. <laughs> oh shit. 
I mean, yes, it's an eight, but it's not good enough. Oh, shit. Da -da -da -da, let me double check something. Everything's fine. Because I honestly forget what the DC was since it's on this thing. Ah! Your third measure has succeeded. Oh! <laughs> now, was it a command for paralyze or sleep? Uh. Whatever was the longest effective one. All right. I'll need you to roll me one last constitution save at disadvantage. Uh, constitution? Yes. Save. Mm-hmm. Okay, disadvantage. Roll. Oh, oh my god. What? <laughs> oh, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, that works. Now, man. Oh no, what's happening? Ravale, you have earned your final feat, but... Oh, scheiße! You are no longer with the party. I know, oh. I went off to play. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, da, da, da. Well, that's gonna be silly today. <laughs> Welcome to the silliness. Valet, if you'll ch check your uh, feats, you'll see your new feature has now been added to your list. You are capable of doing that once per long rest. Oh, thank you. Cool. <laughs> Well, good thing I uh, wasn't at the party. <laughs> Everyone, you have awoken to find that your cleric is gone. Ravale, if you'd like to explain to them what happened out of character, you may if you <clears throat> wish. Uh, I went off uh, to play. <laughs> 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 and let's say I think I got uh, something like abducted against my will essentially you managed to use up about four hours so it's not going to be very far that you've gotten but fairly decent okay <laughs> At least uh, everyone else is safe. <laughs> I think. All right. Mm. Let me bring up my stuff now since we passed by. Anyway, that. have fun with the session, people. <laughs> oh, you'll be in the session. Don't worry. I know. We'll just do little cuts away. But. I believe we are already begin whenever you are, folks. Do you want me to try to see if I can make a toughness roll? A tough roll. A toughness roll? Because I was going for a feat. Ah, yes. If you guys would like to do your... What do I have to roll post? for tough? For the, get the Constitution. Feet. Constitution? All right. Yep. <laughs> well, that's a hell. <laughs> Nope. Oh well. Didn't expect it to actually work, so. Oh well. Okay. Derek, would you like to do your intelligence check for yours? Alright. And Ravale, you'll do your dex check for your woodworking. 
That is a success. Oh, heights of woodworking. Uh, yeah. Don't worry, I'm keeping track of this. Dex check. One normal roll, yes? Yes. Okay. Just normal dex roll. And now I just got the nine. Are you kidding me? Oh, it's a dex check, not a dex save. Uh, so, uh, dex save. Just yeah. roll on the modifier. Just click on the modifier. It'll roll it. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that's there better. Nice. Yep, that's a the sweet. This nineteen Alrighty. today. Yes. Of You're course. finally happy to see a high number. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> oh boy. Well, let's see here. You would be right about there. And double check this. All right. Party. You have, thanks to Ravale double checking everything before he went off to pray somewhere. Yes. You managed to uproot the tree and find two of the magical seeds that, wi that, that the winery wizards needed to resupply their fields with the energy required to make more wine. Yeah, right. Uh, we completely destroyed the tree with the help of uh, Shed, uh, Sanafia, Shadow. by the way. Thank yeah. you for digging with your thoughts. <laughs> or at least hacking apart the roots. Yeah, so uh, we completely destroyed uh, the tree. All right. So congrats, people. Uh, GG. <laughs> So, I have a raven <laughs> on my shoulder. <laughs> Thanks. Alrighty. So, how, how is that going to work, though, in actual practice, though? Essentially put, you'll just have an advantage on your passive, on your wisdom checks, and a bonus equal to your charisma modifier to your passive perception. So, whatever your charisma modifier is, you add that to your passive. Okay. And as, as long as the raven is perched on your shoulder, it cannot be individually targeted. Okay. So oh, if you want to keep cool. it on your shoulder and just keep it as a sort of bonus to your stuff, you can. But you can also have it like fly around during combat and keep an eye on things if you'd like. Yeah. Awesome. It's entirely up to you. So I could also be able to use it like kind of like a scouting tool. True, but it's going to be far more noticeable. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I expect it to be more noticeable. It's a bad. <laughs> Your scout is most certainly not going to lose his job anytime soon. No. <laughs> but I can see a little. How far does it see normally? Uh. For it, it's... What was the vision range for a reason? I know it gives you the 30 feet of dark vision, but... So, by the way, people... Wait, I don't need... <laughs> uh... Is the character sheet for anyone uh, else laggy while rolling dice on only for me? I haven't noticed any lag. Really? Hmm. That's strange. Wait, let me do a, a test roll in full screen. For example, strength. Nope, still leggy. Hey? But why? Alrighty. So, is that a. Fia, well, okay, Garrett, anyway. Vallis, you essentially yeah. awaken from the night's rest to realize your cleric is now gone. First meter. A raven on my chest. Said Kiki. No me. Yep, the raven actually uh, starts pecking at your chest to wake you up. But hello there. That'd be uh, 26. Yep. I get, get up. Lift a hand to the raven. <laughs> Gonna hop up your arm and settle right into your shoulder. Do I have anything that would feed the raven? Probably some crackers in your rations. 
Yeah, I give it a cracker. I have good berries. <laughs> You're not there anymore. You're not there. <laughs> no one wants my good berries. I'm not here. <laughs> I give a cracker to the raven. Okay. Alrighty. Oh. I am muted, Parroquet. I don't hear who I am. No, I'm here. Okay, good. I shouldn't be muted. I mean on stream. Oh, no. No. Okay, good. I am on a stream. I was just checking. Again. I just have a kitsune causing problems because she's bored. Aww. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> boop, boop the kitsune. Yes. A kitsune. I I heard uh I heard kitty. Oh okay. Hi Tristiana. <laughs> How was your hey, week? Kitty, I've got one drooling on my hand. <laughs> Adorable. My kitty's Alrighty. sleeping. What's your party gonna do now? Oh. Can I? Oh, no, I don't have very. We need my. My first thing is find out where the heck the clerk went. Would you like to use uh, your new Raven buddy to see around as you uh, feel a strange connection to them now? Can you go ahead and scut around to see if there is a uh, clip missing cleric friend? The raven simply calls at you and flies up into the air as high as it can go. Follow it like 50 feet from it or whatever. <laughs> Slowly. <laughs> oh. You'll give her all the boops. <laughs> Your raven and you see no one. I uh, motion for the raven to come back down. It's gonna land back on your shoulder. Good try anyway. Here's you another cracker. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I will leave the interactions of the raven to you because I'm not gonna sit here and try going poly on a cracker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm All not right. gonna do that all the time. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> find berries and stuff. All righty. Yeah. So what are you going to do, Ah, I want good berries. Ah. <laughs> or seeds. Uh, All right, then. Go one ahead, thing Derek. to note about ravens is they have extremely good mimicry skills. Yep. Crah. Those scary noises you'll hear in the woods. Sometimes that's just a raven imitating the sound of something else. Yep. Or someone. It scared the shit out of me more times than I can count around here. <laughs> <laughs> How? So what happened? Technically useful in a way. True. I have come right. for your soul. Car, <laughs> car. <laughs> what are you doing? Sorry. What are you gonna do, Derek? I'm gonna look for the tracks of uh, our uh, missing cleric. Give me a nature check. Nature. Okay. Eighteen. You see some tracks going to a stone that has what seems to be a shattered chain around it. Hmm. Would you like to make an investigation check? Yep. 18. You see Rivale's footsteps going toward the stone. However, going away from the stone, you see some very large paw prints. And no more footprints from your cleric. Uh, what do the paw prints look like? Give me a survival check to see if you can identify them to anything. 22. 
Jesus. <laughs> Let me bring this up here. He has X-ray vision, like always. <laughs> you see what looks almost like a giant wolf's paw, but it seems off. You don't know quite why or how, but whatever it was, it seems to be wolf-like in nature. Uh. Uh, the clerics are furry. <laughs> <laughs> You did notice with the survival check that there looked to be a sort of struggle in the area. <laughs> uh... Oh, the cleric's gone, and there's giant uh, paw prints here. He's a furry. He's, he's gone off into the woods. <laughs> yep. I hate you. <laughs> Hey, furry! Hey, furry! Hey, furry! All right! He's a furry that's very attached to the moon lunar cycle. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Anything else you'd like to look around for? Uh, we've cleared the area, right? Correct. You've okay. even uprooted the tree and truly killed the Golthias tree. All right. Okay, yes, you're awake. Now what do you want to do? Lay down. Okay, there you go. Uh, well, looks like for now... Uh, I'm going to go consult with the with uh, Xenophia and Valus about what we should do with our... about whether we should just return to the winery to return these gems, or if we should focus on trying to track down the cleric. Well, from what you saw, the tracks themselves actually went into the forest. Yeah. Why here? <laughs> I got abducted. <laughs> <laughs> I should have used the tech magic on that point. To be fair, this started because you wanted to go praying out in the woods. Oh, <laughs> Lord. <laughs> you do this. No. Okay, so... Solitude, maybe? <laughs> you could have right. used your carriage. But it's not filled with nature like the forest is. Uh, am I able to detect magic for the assessing? <laughs> You could cast it if you like. Okay. I will cast Detect Magic then. Alrighty. You're casting it at the stone since I'm assuming Derrick has gotten back and informed you of what's happened. Mm hmm. Derrick? Derrick? Hmm. Did you inform us? Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. You sense there has been some magic here, but it's more than likely tied to your compatriot's gear and equipment that is laying off to the side of the stone. Well, that's gather up so his pretty equipment. Much nothing. <laughs> let's put his equipment into the carriage then. Yep. Yeah. Orvale, go ahead and unequip all your gear. <laughs> oh no. All right, party, what you want to do now? I suppose we should go look for the cleric. I would say we need to look for the cleric. Okay, whatever is happening in the woods might kill him <laughs> if we don't find him sooner. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't have his armor anymore, so. Yeah, oh, let's go. Uh -huh. Yeah, let's go find it. 
I'm surprised yeah, I'm, fine. <laughs> I'm surprised them, Venom is actually the one that is worried that I might die. <laughs> I was about to say, I was kind of expecting Valis to sit there and go, Okay, yeah, fuck let's it. go. <laughs> so, what's that? Wait, I mean, I, I would have said that if he has armor, but... <laughs> nope, he's got none nope. of his gear right now. <laughs> I'm like yeah, you now, but exactly. they can... He's off streaking in the woods. It went from, oh, he can take care of himself to, oh, no. Oh, no. Let's... Hold on. Wait a minute. Let me take a All right. Stop yeah, I Let suppose we... <laughs> Let me take a take... Stop. Let's follow the tracks. All right. right You're going to leave your carriage here and go creepsing about? Yep. I can't really take it into the woods. No, we really can't. All right. To make this easier on everybody, I will go ahead, place Derrick's icon right here. As you're going about... And... Have you read my Discord message? I'm going to right now. Okay. Let's say this would have been after the time period, Ravale. Okay. Alrighty. Ravale. Do, 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 go to the proper thing. Boop. I always think you are going to sing Harry Potter any moment. <laughs> exactly! Ah? <laughs> <laughs> uh, huh? The good thing about not having your armor, you can at least somewhat sneak now. Without noise. Yeah, great. Uh, it's not like that I have like zero constitution. Well, okay, <laughs> 10 maybe. Ravale, <laughs> you find yourself in your small clothes, naked by what looks like a bridge. Okay, we have four bridges on the map, as much as I remember, without looking at the map, because I don't <laughs> have it with me. Oh, shh. What time is it? It's morning time. Uh-oh. Uh, this is what you get for praying almost that freaking... Not even morning. What You're happened? A little scuffed. You're a little scuffed up. <clears throat> a little sore, but you are... Still there. I Can I give check you... for uh, a any wounds or blunt damage or something like that? You are unharmed. You're a little tired as if you didn't sleep very well. Oh. You're a little sore because you did get jostled about a bit, but you are, for all intents and purposes, in one piece. Uh... For reasons, I would like to check if I have any, like, two dots as bite marks on my neck. Go ahead. Give me an investigation check with advantage as you check yourself over. And again. Hello? Uh, and... As far as you can tell, there's no actual wounds on you. 13, 13, yeah, okay. Oh, well, oh. Oh, no. Uh, yep. Let's say you passed that even if it was your highest or your lowest, so. Okay. Well, I see a bridge. That's probably the only way where I can go. Uh, I would first maybe like to point to Silvanus and thank him that I'm still Still alive after whatever happens. 
Amen. <laughs> uh, Your God is thankful that you are alive as well. Yes. So much <laughs> investment would have been wasted otherwise. <laughs> I... Okay, I see a bridge. I would like to take a look around to know if I am near a forest on a mountain or maybe near Boravia again. Because I... You are in between two mountains and you can see a river down below you here. Okay, now I need to remember where exactly was it. I know, there are maybe three bridges. I say, you do have a copy of the maps with you. Oh, I have it with me? Yep, you still kind of have your uh, side pouches on your belt. You're basically in a commoner shirt, some pants, some shoes. Oh, okay, then. I thought I have only, like, my underwear on. Okay. I'll give you that much. I'm not going to have you streaking about. (laughs) Okay. Okay. Um, And for story purposes, the uh, party does have their own set of maps as well. Okay. (laughs) <laughs> I guess okay I guess they, they made the copies um <laughs> yes okay, let me check where I am every bitch uh, bitch bridge <laughs> sorry <laughs> every bridge goes above a river for bridges for river uh, mountain you said in between two mountains yep Okay, that could be actually, yeah, actually be the first bridge after Barovia or the second bridge that comes after it, uh, leading towards Ravenloft. When I say mountain, I mean tall mountain, not a hill. Oh, uh, I'm on a mountain. Yep, you're essentially in between. Yeah, I don't know where I am. I don't see a bridge on any mountain here. Wait, is this? Wait a second. Logic. Let's think where I was. Somewhere to the left, underneath the winery. I am now in the mountains. Probably somewhere here to the right. Um. Ah, that is my bad. I have just realized that it doesn't show you on the faded out map. Say, do you have the map that uh, shows your travel times, however? Yes. All right. Give me an intelligence check real quick to see if you can figure out where you are. Uh, intelligence. Uh, a six. Eight. Oh, I'm sorry. That's with advantage. Oh, okay. Uh, and again... Almost an 18. Okay, I got an 8. Okay. From what you can tell... Let me bring up the map. And... Oh, wait. Since you did actually do pretty decent on that. Let me bring up the map here. Ah, if I look at the the travel map, map, I think I see where I am. As I say, the that is my bad that the bloody map that you guys used before is it, not actually showing. That. Yeah, it doesn't show where I am actually, but I know where I am now that I look at the other map that you don't have access to, roleplay wise. Yep. Okay, but yeah, like I said, I'm somewhere in that area, logically thinking. There we go. I will save this and send it to you now. Elementary, Mr. Watson. Yes. So there no, must be do. somewhere a river underneath all that blood on the map. <laughs> I'm going to uh, DM this to you now. There is where you, with your check and your map, since that does help you out a little bit, you believe you are the red circle. Yeah, area. that's also what I thought. Okay, I love it. Oh, detective. Game. 
Uh, yeah, but yeah, makes sense. I would have figured as much too, so that is totally fine. All right. Somewhere there with a the blood splatter is. Uh, that's a bad omen, I think. <laughs> what do you want to do from here then? Well, um. How the hell did I get here? I wonder. Hmm. Um. All you remember is some pain, exhaustion, and the feeling of running. Uh, yeah, yeah, it, yeah, I have to go to the closest structure and see if there's anything useful because I feel like now I spawned and I have to gather gear to survive. <laughs> uh, yeah, I may or may not survive the way back. I would like to check out the bridge, but carefully. All right. Can I sneak? You can. It's okay. Pure sneak now, because you're not wearing armor. Hey, I know. So, let me roll. Uh, it's an eight. I'm not very good at it. I won't be <laughs> the next uh, Sam Fisher anytime soon. Um, Who's Sam Fisher? <laughs> yeah, Sam Fisher. Dun, dun, dun. I know. Dun, dun, dun. Uh -huh. I'm doing the same game. <laughs> uh, do I hear in anything? Give me a perception check, real quick. Okay. Perception. One moment. I have advantage. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? Again, a double number? <laughs> okay, you yeah, I have nothing. a 40. You hear nothing from the other side of the wall. Okay. I would like to sneak around closer. And take a look around the corner. Still nothing? Uh, nothing that you can see. Why do oh, I it's feel a like I'm bridge. having a, a, a theme, particular theme song? <laughs> <laughs> Don't ruin the immersion. <laughs> uh, now it would be very nice to find out if I came from this side of the bridge or from the other side. I would like to look into the sky to kind of figure out where north is. It's very cloudy and dark because the sun is covered. Right. <laughs> Can I see where... Because, you know, eternal darkness and everything. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Um, <laughs> where is the brightest spot on the sky? Yeah, roughly... Let's see here. It is roughly about... To say which direction are you looking? To the left of the map, to the right, up or down? Uh let's look up. It is to your left and about eh, if you were to reach out up diagonally, you'd essentially be pointing at it. Okay, and since I'm in the mountain, I don't have any sticks laying around here because I, otherwise I would have tried to maybe figure out with the sun shadow uh, where north is, but I don't even know if I have enough shadow. Anyway, okay, let's proceed. <laughs> Do I see anything? Do I hear anything? Nope. Nothing. Do I smell anything? Nope. Do Just I feel the water. Fine, okay. I would like to peek around the corner. You see a figure sitting on an old chair. 
alive or dead? It's not moving. Does it have flesh or is it a skeleton? It's in the dark. Great. One moment. What can cantrips do I have prepared? None of usefulness. <laughs> uh, am I still tired or do I have my spell slots refilled? Your spell slots are refilled. You're just not up to full par. Ah, uh, okay. But I guess so, I haven't changed any spells then. Okay, but, um... I would like to take a look inside the other room. You see a figure laying on the ground. Oh no. Yeah, I don't think both of them are alive. Um, there's a broken bridge. No other bridge that we have encountered was broken like that. So I guess I am somewhere where I probably should not be especially naked. Um, do I see anything else inside the room? You see a weapon rack, and it looks like there's something on it. And there's nothing on this side, just a figure? Nope. The figure looks like it's got something leaning up against the chair, but otherwise the figure's not moving and it's still in the dark. Do I have my torches with me? Nope. Okay, good. Um... Yeah. I'm going to pick you up. I would like there to go. Yes, huh? carefully <laughs> check for traps, maybe, or any signs of, like, any, uh, of anything, like, uh, what's the word? Okay. Uh, Investigation check. Tracks. Okay, investigation. Uh, here we go. And that's an eight. You don't see any traps. Okay. I need a weapon. And all I have here around is stones and pebbles. I would... Wait a second. I don't think I'm under time pressure. I would like to cast a ritual. Uh, detect magic. Was it a ritual? Yes. I would like to cast detect magic as a ritual. Okay. Now I'll take you 10 minutes. While yes. you're setting up that ritual, we'll pop back to the party. All right, folks, you're all set up at Yesterhill there. Where are you going? Yeah. To take lead here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'll do it to take lead. Yeah. Alright. Wow. <laughs> well, he has the highest investigation of all of us. <laughs> and perception. <laughs> yeah. What the fish? All, All right. right, so let's follow these tracks. See if we can find lead. If they can lead us to our wayward lyric. All right, give me a survival check. Nineteen. Uh, 
you are able to follow the tracks pretty decently. You do, you do have to stop and double check a couple times, but you're able to follow them fairly easily. Right. You know, people, I still don't know what was standing inside the book, so if I do find the sword by accident, I don't know what to do with it. Oh, wow. This will have taken you about four hours to travel. All right. So it's a little afternoon right now. So there are four hours behind me. Okay. Yep. However, now you have a choice to make. Go left or right, because now you're getting onto parked hard road and you don't see any more tracks on the other side. So, which way, guys? Pretend yeah. you don't know where I am. <laughs> oh, we, 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 uh, wow. <laughs> like, we have to have you convincing. I yeah. want... I want, uh, let's see, who do you want to pick high or low out of your three-man group? Uh. Derek. <laughs> I vote Derek. The sneaky one that never gets found is being made the leader. <laughs> All right, we'll go high. High? From what you can see... You believe that the tracks went up the mountain to the north. All right. So you'll be heading back up the mountains here. So, ba da ba da Nope. Wrong one. Give me the right one here. There you go. Provale. You passed your detect magic ritual. Correct? Uh, yes. There is nothing magical in the area around you within 30 feet. Okay. Um. So I suppose they are now three hours and 50 minutes behind me. Um, this is essentially you working towards this uh, four hours that they've been walking. Okay. So, what you gonna do? Uh, so, no magic, okay. Can I... So... Just to be sure again, because I know I am squishy. Uh, I would like to detect <laughs> evil and good as a ritual. All right. It completes, and you sense nothing within the range of your. Oh, wait, no, I can't. I mean, I can, but I that would use a spell suit anyway. Yeah, you know what? Okay, sure. Uh, boop. Now let me read the description of it again. So, no undeads. Okay, so those corpses are dead deads. That's how I should know. Well, yeah, yes, dead detect dead. evil and goods. No undead within 30 um, feet of me. True. Yep. So I'm actually safe. Yeah. Yeah, I would like to enter then carefully. By looking around for any traps. All right. You see nothing. And as your eyes become accustomed to the gloom, you see it looks like a very long dead guardsman is laying on the ground of this guardhouse. His armor is far too moldy and ratty to be of any use to you. Okay, he's dead very long. There is, however, a weapon still sitting on the weapon rack there. Okay, that's interesting. That guardsman, probably on the other side too, 
So long dead that the armor is brittle. What happened here? I don't think it's Strahd because there are no undead here. Okay, intriguing. Uh, I would like to get inside and take a look at the weapon and the room. Roll me a D6. DC6. DC6? Yep. Oh, uh, D6. A five. Da, 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 da. Let me double check your character sheet to make sure I haven't. I mean, I these up. don't hear anything. There's nothing here. Nothing is moving. So, nothing alive or undead is here. So. I'm I think I know what that D6 was. I think that I know what that D6 was for. <laughs> Don't tell me it's a slime again. <laughs> no. And this will be And add that. Double check to make sure it works for you. That one does not. Okay. So I'm slowly getting used to all the shit that fucking. 2024 has done. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Danke, Merkel. Ah, uh, we'll go with that. I don't know what that means, but we'll go with that. <laughs> yep. It's more or less a German meme. Merkel is uh, a German politician. And if ah. something is always like more or less unfitting or changed, we always not always, but sometimes say, Danke, Merkel. Uh, thank you, Merkel. Wah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rivali, you find a still usable short sword still in its... Oh, hi, kitty. That's still in its sheath. I have already added it to your list. Oh, okay. So well, you okay, found so... a, at least, decent weapon. Uh, sh so, uh, a short sword. Just a short sword. Well, it's not an ash bringer, but I'll take it. Short sword. I mean, that nature's glow, right? <laughs> if I actually now found the sword mentioned in the book, I don't know what to say. Okay. <laughs> uh, short sword. There it is. I would like to. Equip it and take a look at it outside in the more or less uh, daylight. I mean, I gotta check if it's useful in case I need it. Okay. So, is it just an actual sword or is it just a handle with? It's just a short sword. It's actually in good condition, considering it was kept inside the hilt and hung up. Oh, okay. Or not in the hilt, in the sheath. Yeah. Well, face be praised for now. Um, okay, I would like to investigate carefully the corpse of the guardsman. All right, go ahead. Give me an investigation roll. Ach, come on. <laughs> A five. As you check over the guardsman, you realize whatever it was that killed him snapped his spear in two and sundered his shield. You do, however, find a small coin pouch with three gold on it. Oh, three gold. My first loot here. Three <laughs> gold. Don't mind if I take it. Three gold. 
uh, is there anything else on him? Like maybe, I don't know, a letter, a name, or something? No, no papers, no nothing. Okay, so... I figured that the paper would probably be well... His spear is snapped, his shield is broken, you say? Yep. Does the arm, his armor tell me if he got struck by magic or a blunt force? I suppose he got smacked against the wall and fell down dead. Give me another investigation check. But this is getting interesting. <laughs> a 12! Hey, let's go! I have a 14. You see that the very center of his chest is punctured by a very large claw. Oh shit, it's a terminate. Nah, uh... It is about the size of your head is the hole. Holy shit. I have no idea what that could have been. It could have been a ballista from close range, I don't know. Or magic. Uh, so, uh, does the wall or across the entrance have something like a burnt spot on it or something? Nope, it just looks like something punctured it. You can uh, see that the wound itself actually gets narrower as it goes further into the body, oh. from what you can at least tell of the bones. Okay, so is it a male or a female? You see bones. Oh. Okay. I don't think there's much to tell. I was <laughs> just going... I, I just wanted to know the person better. Okay, well, a ribbon piece and... The person's dead. Probably been dead. But I can still show... Uh, what is it called? I don't know, I'm not good with feeding. Uh, yeah. Well, rip in peace, uh, I'll pray for you when it's safer for me. Maybe I'll come back and bury you. I would like to check the next room for traps too. Alright. Now traps, or do I roll? That will be an investigation. Okay. A 9, that makes it a 10. Not bad. Oh, 11. Wait, what? 9. 9. Yeah, sorry, I can't do math. Yes, 11. You don't see any traps. It does seem there was a bit of a fight here. I figured as much. Uh, does the shadowed figure sitting also have the same wounds? It looks to say have the same type of armor. Yeah, so I guess those were the guards that got brutally died. Um, I would like to enter the room and investigate right. the room. Do I roll again? Yes. I'm getting the hang out of it. I get 13 this time. You see, essentially, it looks like the same type of guard. Yes. He's slumped over his chair that he's sitting on, and he's leaning to one side heavily, but he is made of bones. Also a long time dead. Any yes. wounds? You can see his head is actually hanging in his lap. It's been cut off. Oh. Well, rip in peace, you too. I will pray for you too when it's safer for me. Um, I wish I could console with ghosts, but that probably wouldn't uh, work here in Buravia with Strat's influence. Uh, yeah, I would Not like really, to check no. the room for anything useful or any help or any clues to what happened. Alright, give me an investigation check. I su Whatever it was with a giant piercing hole, it either it was alone or it was multiple enemies. 
You see that unfortunately the short sword that is hanging by the body of this guard has also been cut in half, more than likely used to try and block the attack, but obviously didn't work. Holy sh oh my god. Okay. Uh you do, pierce- however, see a heavy huh? gauntlet hanging off his side. Still in some good condition if you wanted to use it. I mean, okay, I didn't detect any magic, so I guess nothing is cursed. Um. Yeah, with his allowance, I would like to take it with me. Well, maybe. Thank you. I hope you don't mind. I may it be useful for me, and may it help me avenge you and your friends in the future should we come to it is in your inventory now if you'd like to equip it oh okay um is it on the equipment or the loot bag go ahead and search heavy in the search bar at the top of your inventory okay inventory heavy i okay it's an actual item nice that is made with a mess of metal and of protection in a pinch yeah, I would like to equip it. Mm-hmm. So, all I'm wearing is a sh- sword and a gauntlet. Oh my god, my armor class is 13. Hallelujah. Um, <laughs> well, nothing else. something. Yeah, something. Um, is there something else in the room? There is nothing else as nothing of else. right now. Okay, now I still don't know where I came from, so maybe I'm going into the lion's den or I'm coming out of it. Give me an intelligence check if you can try and figure out anything at all. Intelligence. I was planning to go south because that is where the map goes. A two. I'm going south then, I guess. Uh. Okay, tell me if you want low or high. Uh, lower. You think you need to go south, but your intuition is telling you you should go north. Or I guess going by the compass, you think you need to go west but your intuition is telling you to go east. Do I see anything suspicious uh, on the bridge? I see that it's damaged, but are there maybe like deep stone scratches or something across it? I'm, apo- I'm going to apologize here. I'm trying to match this up to the actual m- big map, but because they keep fucking flip-flopping which side they have east and west on, it's fucked with me. So you are correct in saying that you want to go west, down the road. I Yeah, I was going to do it anyway, maybe. <laughs> um, anything on the bridge... Well, it's a little battered, got some parts falling off, but it still looks pretty stable. The pillars underneath it are still standing, after all. Okay, is it is a bridge damaged by natural influence? Hey, nature. Or from an attack? From nature. Okay, so I... Okay. I would like to go across the bridge with my weapon armed. Careful looking out for any surprises uh, from which side is the river flowing Da-da-da. if you're in the middle there looking down the bridge to the west it is flowing to your left so I literally have to flip the map 90 fucking degrees here so it's flowing to the right side 
If you're looking down the map towards the other side from where you came, it's flowing to your left. So to the right side of the map. Okay. I have to check how big the map is. I guess I have a survival adventure now. Good thing I have good (laughs) berries. And I'm self-sufficient. Okay. I need you to make me a deck save right now. I knew it. It's too brittle. (laughs) It's a four. You trip and fall. How how do you how do I trip? I was even careful not to get close to the broken parts. Oh my god! Which saves your life. As a rock comes over the bridge and tries to grab you. What? <laughs> hey, what? What the fish was that? Basically, that trip actually saved The trip <laughs> saved you from Tweety Bird. Hallelujah! Blessed be Sylvanus. Oh my god, okay, I gotta stay down then, I guess. It's the Luftwaffe. What the fish? I'm so happy. I have a sudden idea of what oh might boy. have killed the guards, as ex- as, <laughs> uh, especially the left one. <laughs> I would like to stay down on the wall and crawling with my sword pointing right. up for points, like for being pointy. <laughs> Holy shit, okay, it's a giant bird. Ah, crow! Hey, look, Sanafi, I got a bird too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Thank you for such a low roll, God. I I th- I think I know what I'll take as my next feat. I mean I'm very lucky right now. Relatively from some games how big rock is, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Well, rock's just a little bird. It's only known to carry off African elephants. It's not like it's the size of half the bridge. <laughs> Are we able to see it from where we are? You know what? You, I feel like I'm playing. You actually playing... can. I feel you like I actually I'm... can see this rock swooping down at something. I I feel like I'm playing Dark Souls and I just encountered the dragon on the bridge. That, that rock went. Try to swoop at something on the bridge over there. It's even from as far away from you are as it, you can still tell that this bird is massive. Uh, great. That's a lot of chicken. Okay, what do I see? <laughs> well, well I mean, we could have a meal for quite some time. You're at another guardhouse. Hmm. Should we go near it now? Okay. Um, I'm not going to take chances and stay on the bridge. Uh, I would like to call carefully, look left and right, and try to make out any life signs. The guards in these houses are motionless as well. I also have another question. Does okay. that give us a sense of direction where that came from? Um, yep, on the map you would have been going south. I would like to take a look inside here, to Maybe my left. There's also another dead guard. Okay, it's not the bird. I don't think a bird can sneak attack all four of them, if there are four. Okay, and on the other side? It is empty. Oh, okay. Do I see anything inside, or is it just empty, empty, empty? It's actually pretty barren. Just some rubble, but, uh, yeah. I would like to check out for traps and take a look inside while keeping a watch at the sky. In the empty room? Yes. All right, give me an uh, investigation check. Oh my god, I'm so happy that I saw the wings. (laughs) (laughs) I was just saying, if you get to high roll, you're getting caught. Uh, I got a 16 on investigation. There is nothing, but you do see the signs of something being dragged out of the room. 
whatever was once in here is no longer. For the party. Corpse. Yep. Uh, do I see any blood stains? You do see some old uh, rusty blood stains. For the party. I would like to get inside carefully. No traps? Nope, no traps. No traps. Okay, I would like to get inside. And it's really barren? Yep. And we'll put you guys down here. So you three are at the bottom of the map. After seeing the giant bird. All right, you uh, are essentially in a safe place right now, Ravale. Well, would you like just to continue or hand over movement to the other side of the uh, party? I would like to check the other uh, barrack first. Well, that's an interesting sure encounter. I found the boss. Or just a normal <laughs> enemy. I would like to be to take a look outside uh, the door frame into the sky to look out for the bird. It is still circling the bridge uh, okay I would like to <laughs> get into this room alrighty what do I see except the corpse with the corpse corpse itself is actually a little bit shredded up like something clawed at it a large piercing the size of my head and now claws a decapitated enemy and an empty room either four different enemies or one enemy that has like very large claws <gasps> it's a death claw uh, okay I would like to investigate and see what I find in this barrack well, it's claws are deadly I mean <laughs> <laughs> but as I, far I, as you can tell there's nothing of use in here everything on the guard is either shredded or shattered okay uh, carefully looking out for the bird uh, what do I see below me further away da, 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 da. you see the path continues on there's a bit of an area over here Hey, trees! Mm -hmm. And you see it goes around a bend a little bit, but you'd have to go out a little further considering the constant drizzle and uh, fog that happens here. Mm -hmm. Let me check my spells. Um... <laughs> I could be crazy and just sneak underground with mold earth. Uh, but oh, great rain. Um, <laughs> this level, yeah, no, I don't have any. Wait, Try ah, I don't have my nature's clothes, me right? The rain actually does stop on the other side of the bridge. Wait, what? Wait, so on this side of the bridge I notice rain, but on the other side I don't see any rain. As soon as you crossed the middle part of the bridge and crossed over to where you are now, it was raining all over again. So basically the half of the river is not being covered by droplets? Nope. Looking out, you can actually see that only half of the river is actually getting hit with droplets. Oh! Well, that's strange. Either the upper road is, I don't know, magical. No, wait, I didn't detect any magic. I would like to <laughs> All right. uh, take the moment. While and... you're figuring that out, I'm going to jump to the other party members here. Yeah, okay. Derek, Genevieve, 
I wanted to After do a traveling, given that he... Oh, go ahead. I wanted to do a ritual again and detect magic again, but now I'm on this side. Maybe there is magic here on the work that makes the area rain. Or maybe it's just the Let's other say, side. There's I don't a range know. of 30 feet. One, yes. Two, three. I mean, detect magic. You would be just out of range. You would be just out of range to get to the middle of the river, because each square is ten feet. I mean, I just wanna check magic on this side of the river. There is no magic on this side of the river. All right. Okay, we'll head that over is to the interesting. other party members here. Derek, Zanafia, and Valis, you are. After traveling, considering it would have taken Rivale a pretty decent amount of time to crawl across the bridge, you have arrived at your destination and you see the rock flying over what looks to be a river. But you're at a guardhouse right now, it looks like, yeah, up ahead of you. All right. I suppose we should proceed further. Twenty-three. Alrighty. You look so tiny if I zoom out. <laughs> and there goes Derek. That's why they call it bird perspective. Well, I'm gonna go ahead anyway. As you approach, you see. The shelf on the rock on this mountain road that you're here is fairly narrow. To your left, there's icy cliffs that rise sharply towards dark rolling clouds, and to your right, the ground falls away into a sea of fog. Ahead, through the wind and snow, you see a high wall of black stone lined with spikes and topped by statues of demonic vultures with horned heads. Set in the center of the wall is a closed iron portcullis, behind which burns a curtain of green flame. Another I need everybody besides Ravale to roll me a constitution shaving throw. Oh, uh, Lord. Right. There is an unmarked spot left in front of David. 16. 10. Wow. You all pass. It's fairly cold, but nothing you can can't deal with that at the moment. The gatehouse itself is 30 feet high and the walls are 20 feet high and lined with stone spikes. Is the part of this closed? It is. Find a switch, a lever, or something. Do not think I have anything to lift it up. Garrett, <laughs> as you uh, come closer to the portcullis, it shrieks open with the sound of metal on metal as it rises on its own. Okay, it looks like it was inviting. There is, however, still the curtain of green flame on the other side. It's a dark hole, supposed to. Green flame. Well, from the looks of this green flame, that's the area of expertise for the other two. Make an icon and check on that green flame. You can if you want. All right. Eleven. You sense that the curtain itself will actually harm anybody that walks through it, and it fills the entire eastern archway. So it will harm anyone who walks through. Yep. It's to prevent passage. Even if it resisted to fire. If you're resistant to fire, you're resistant to fire. 
Uh, let me in. <laughs> Are you sure you want to go through? Um. Good question. Through? Only one way to find out. I'm like, good question. Only one way to find out. <laughs> <laughs> Since I cannot see anything on the other side of that fire, I cannot use my ability. Alright. You going ahead then, Valis? Sure, why not? Alright. Should I just move up? <laughs> I would have thrown a rock. Alright, walk through. You take, and since it's had for resistance, 17 points of damage. Well. <laughs> wow. Okay, at least it's seven. It's fine. <laughs> 17. 17? Okay. Never mind. Yeah. Not fine. <laughs> <laughs> Just say, oh, it's fine. Wanna... Okay, okay. Well, I'm still well. fine, not regardless. <laughs> I'm like, I'm still fine, regardless. <laughs> I'm not able to see on the other side, am I? Nope. That's... It fills the entire archway and blocks it with fire. That's interesting. Why does it Is get there open? Is any lever switch or anything on that? Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Why does it get open but the fire not let you through? Mm. Also, how the hell did I end up on the other side of the fire? Can wow. I investigate if there's anything... You more likely came by that middle area you're at where the trees are. Uh, but you don't know. And what are you doing, Valis? Um... Trying to see if I can put out this fire. By any so you're looking back at the fire now at the gatehouse? Mm hmm. You can see two crystals. Oh. Sitting on either side of the gatehouse, these little green dots. Mm hmm. Same color as the fire burning in between them. I want to try to take them out. All right. What you going to do? Uh, is it easy to pull out? Then I'll give me a strength check. Oh, wait. Wrong one. <laughs> don't worry about that. <laughs> I, accidentally, I accidentally did a saving. But we don't worry about that. Give me my, give me my strength check. Move. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded so cute. <laughs> the 13 do? You managed to pull the floating crystal free of its non existent moorings. <laughs> ah. So I got that one. The flames, Derek, Xenophy, you can actually see the. Flames are still filling the archway, but they're sputtering a bit. All right, time to do this one. Blank check, right? Sure, if you want to yank the uh, floating crystal from its lack of mold. I mean, you could always you know, strike with that. Just take it. <laughs> you well, don't I have to go blank check to do that. <laughs> You don't have to prove anything to anyone. <laughs> you managed to pull the uh, floating crystal that isn't more to anything, free of its non-existent anchoring. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Yay! You, Darren Zanathia, you see a slightly scorched Valis on the other side with two about arm-sized crystals in either arm. Wow. Is mm -hmm. it safe to cross? Yep. Alright. Good job. Now I'm going to use Cure Wounds on Valis. <laughs> Thank you. I need that. Awesome. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we probably that need that. Not, that is nine healing. 
It's okay. It's fine. <laughs> I went up to 30. And now to go see. Make note of that door there. Now to go see if. Alright. We need to rescue. Certain someone. Derek. I need you to make me a deck saving throw right now. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. That'd be a ten. You managed to narrowly avoid a giant goat oh. that tries to rush you from the side of the hill. As it turns around, stops, and squares you up. Well, a goat? Yes. But that's it's not what I expected. Okay. <laughs> it's a giant goat. Meh. What would you like to do? You managed to evade it, so you got a, both a surprise attack and a reactionary attack, if you'd like. All right. And by the way, this thing is nine foot tall. Wow. No. What the hell? It's a mountain goat. <laughs> That's what I mean by a giant goat. That yeah. is a hit. Okay, it needs to make a con 15 save. Why? Okay. By more than five. Why are you fighting the goats? It attacked first. Did it? Bad go. I thought it was just running by. I noticed you. Okay, so. 30 points of damage, and it is uh, poisoned. Alright. As soon as you strike it, it is going to go fuck this. And run. Oh. Uh oh. Well, there it is. I think that that was going to happen. So attack for Never opportunity. Mind. Oh, it was already away from you. You used your okay. reactionary attack. Okay. Okay, I kinda expected it to either bump into me or get picked up by the birds on the bridge. I mean, he very nearly outright killed it. <laughs> wow. It How went, much oh, this is a bad idea. <laughs> You'll find out later. Hey. Lizard is not to be That's kind of... <laughs> that sound. Lizard said, fuck off. <laughs> the goat actually took the hit like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Like, oh, look, a new friend to boot off the mountain. Stab. Oh, Jesus, fuck. <laughs> Why the lizard is hissing? Alrighty. You managed to throw away the goat, what you gonna do? Wow. Well, At least moving. I gotta make our way towards the bridge. Alright. <gasps> Move me. Derek, you hear some noise before you get to the door of this gatehouse. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, this has got to be reload because it's starting to fuck with me. Detect magic. What is it? My thing was starting to lag. Ah. Uh, oh, no, no, detect magic. No, no, no. <laughs> yes, Derek, you hear chanting in the room ahead of you. Detect magic. Mommy, <laughs> don't Now, time to sneak in. Would you like to give me a perception check? Uh, 11. You see what looks to be a magician in the midst of a ritual. Does he sound familiar? <laughs> he, sounds, he sounds pretty tired, kind of raspy, and as you look at him, you can see that he's dripping with rain. Considering you haven't really seen Rivale without any of his armor, you don't recognize him. 
And I don't even well, notice him. We have him. stripped him of his armor before. <laughs> huh? We have stripped him of his armor before. Yes, we have. Only once. Ah. No, when we had him being Little Spoon to Valus. Uh huh. Fair enough. There you that go. This is the only time I got a hug from Valus. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. And the last. And the last. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. All right. Jared, for all intents and purposes, you think you have a cultist in front of you casting some magic. Only oh, no okay. detect magic to me. To magic to me. <laughs> He's not going at it. No, but he's going at it. I mean, he's committing to the bit. I gotta honor it, so. Uh, I'm doing the vocal component doing. of a ritual, okay? I would like to. Am I close <laughs> enough to assist him? No. You would have to actually be looking in the room to see what okay. it is he's doing. Alright. You realize that the spell he's doing. Let me check. Truly, Luli, detect magic to me, do detect magic to me, do me, do me. I mean, I gotta honor the fact that he's committed to the bed. He does that pretty yeah, damn hard. Yeah, yeah. You can at least tell from some of the phrases that this is a spell belonging to the divination school. It seems this person is attempting to commune with something. Alright, Rivali, tell him that I'm a second here. Okay. Dare, what you gonna do? I'm gonna go up. Poke him in the ribs with the hilt of my dagger. Make an attack roll. Uh, let's see, he's unaware of me, so that's also plus five, so 17. That's a hit. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Roll for damage. Uh, let's see, it was just the hilt, or the... Ammo? Yep. Yeah. Uh, let's see, uh... Eight. Ah, the bird got to me! Ah! Ravale, you feel something bump you in the side. Pretty harshly, but it gets your attention. So that's fucking max damage. You take <laughs> eight points of damage. <laughs> at least I didn't do it. At least I didn't uh, go for the vital hit. Yep. Uh, eight damage you say, one, two, three, four, five, yep. six, seven, eight. Uh, my first thought, oh shit, the bird got me through the dwarf frame. <laughs> uh, I would like to as you look As you look behind you, you see what looks like a lizard man's face peering at you from the dark. <gasps> I know what killed them. <laughs> uh, I would like to... Uh, cast Word of Radiance. Word of Radiance? As a reaction, instinctively. Word of Radiance, let me double check this here. Yes. Range area 5 feet. Can trip one action. There it, Up to multiple a, uh, targets. Make a constitution saving throw. Valis, Sanathea, as you see. As you're standing outside here, you what see you see a bright light just beam out of the room that Derrett went in, and you can visibly see the outline of a lizard man in the shadow. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Flashbang. <laughs> Literally a flashbang. Twenty-four. <laughs> so say you and uh Xanafia are fine. Yeah. <laughs> We were not actually within range of five feet, so. Oh boy. Just. Ah, flashbang has a fucking reaction. <laughs> it was an instinct. Is that the fucking meme with the flashbang, the baby baby. Derek, you don't the take what? any radiance damage. You are blinking some spots from your eyes. But other than that, you're fine. 
so I didn't well, even since hit. He just attacked me. I guess this must be an imposter, and I will switch to combat mode. <laughs> I'll make an attack roll. Can I oh, step back suck. to the end of the wall to get some distance? You may. Considering he's essentially got a little bit blinded from that, he wouldn't be able to make a reactionary. So is he standing in the dwarf frame? He is now. <laughs> Can I cast Bolt Earth to block the dwarf frame? <laughs> Are you essentially going to pull the earth up to either smash him into the top of the doorway or hit him in the crotch? <laughs> my, my aim was to just close off the dwarf frame. <laughs> He's but, in the door frame. Uh, the I door guess frame. I, I push him out. I am the door now. <laughs> I guess I replace him with a door. door. So what, uh, you're covering up his bottom half? Uh, Yes. But the crotch idea was yours. I, I'm going to offer options. That's the only two ways I think of going about it. There's somebody in a doorway and you're going to essentially shove something up at them while they're in said doorway. They're either getting bonked in the head or bonked in the other head. All right, Derek, you are kind of trapped at the moment because your lower half's kind of stuck as you blink away the spots from your eyes. All right, well, then that's which is the attack mode. Uh, that's a 10. That's a miss. Oh, my reactions. Oh, I blocked it or dodged it. I don't know. Since I'm feeling so lucky, does the shot ricochet back to Derrit? You have no arm. <laughs> the only armor you have is that gauntlet. I have a heavy gauntlet. I don't know. It's currently so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Dare and you essentially see what uh, looks to be a if I had described this a deprived from fucking Dark Souls with a single bit of armor and a sword and actual clothes <laughs> wow I'm a hollow <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> Well, you can't get past Derek because all you see is his ass and tail and him not moving. <laughs> <laughs> Great, welcome to Dark Souls. I'm surprised the boot is not like, giving attention to everything. Break the mold. It's a five foot block. Are you going to do anything else? <laughs> I was back to pray to Sylvanus and ask for aerial support. Well, I figured we're, since uh, combat is effectively initiated. <laughs> Say, to be fair, you're the only one that's actually caused damage. Xanafia, uh -huh. Ballas, you're going to hear yeah. a giant whoosh. As you see, giant talons go past the doorway of the bridge. I'm going to pick up Valis and go in the other room. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, <laughs> Garrett, what are you going to do? I swear to God, if I give Frost Blood from back here. <laughs> 21 to hit. Uh, oh, shit. That's a hit. All right. You need to make away. a con save. Yep, make a Constitution saving throw, Rivale. Uh, from that far away, or oh. it is five it's feet away. It's thirteen. So. Let's Hello. see. That's a save. So, did I pass or not? You did. Yep, you oh. take eight damage from the crossbow, though. I took no damage from the crossbow. No, he hit you with the 21. Oh, so it was the crossbow? Uh, never mind. I thought it was it a was dinger. Uh, yeah, my bad. Oh. The crossbow. 
Does he pick if up? You want me to get you with the dagger? No, 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 no. My bad. I can't beat. <laughs> I mean, he, he I, could, but he'd be no, swinging at air because there's a five foot difference. Yeah, He's I was confused. Okay, the, yeah, no, it's okay. Away. It's okay. I saw it. He daggered me from that far away. Um. Where well, y'all yeah, at? Ah! What? Not the same what spot are you again. Doing? Here, what are you just doing? attacked me. I thought it might have been the L, but since he's attacking me, I'm going to keep. Uh, okay. I'm going to take care so. of it. Drag him. Drag him. Please drag him. Pull Everything. him back real quick. Everything that happened. Uh, Revale. I was. Revale. You yes. would actually hear them talking to each other. Okay, I am tired. You're I'm stressed. I'm so. Yell, dare it. Am I able to know. Uh, Notice that it's Revalio. No, because uh, from the height difference, Darren is taking up more of the doorway. And it's yeah, stuck. Damn it, Darren. He's locking the door. And it's stuck. I Am I able to move for Derek? I mean, what? you have Thunderwave, so technically you could. Okay, move out of the way, Jennifer, because I'm using it. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to use Thunderwave? Oh, please. Oh, this level. And it's free because of your feet. What? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh no! So uh, my DC is con 14, so pretty much Constitution fit saving throw. Trevale, Derek, make a con save. Even behind cover, <laughs> half cover. Oh yeah. What happened if you blocked the door? Okay, Constitution. <laughs> Oh, at least Again. I still have my reaction from Kenny Dodge. A natural one. Perfect. But uh, you're still gonna go fly him. Yep. <laughs> so, fly Revala, right into EL. <laughs> this has been Derek, incoming. Derek, Ravala, you clash into each other on the wall and are slightly concussed, both of you. Bonk. Valis, you are now what the coming if you like. <laughs> now what the hell is happening in here? Oh, hey, yeah, it's yeah. EL. <laughs> Revale, their, your ears are ringing, your head is aching, and you just hear Valis go, Oh, hi, EL. <laughs> I have a tinnitus. Again. Hey man, sorry I have to do that, but there he is blocking the door. <laughs> what do I roll for? I'm working and I'm going to kind of... Wait, can I roll for perception? You're concussed and a little bit uh, tinnitus right now. Exactly. I just love the fact that Valis now has the ability to say, get the fuck out of my way, whenever. <laughs> I know. I'm like, no. <laughs> Move, bitch. I would like to roll for perception to make. <laughs> Move, Move, bitch! Get, get out the way! Fa get out the way, bitch! Get out the way! I would like to roll for, for perception to try and make out what I hear. You can hear Valis, Xenophia talking to each other and marking that they found you, and Derek right beside you against the wall as well, groaning. I must be hallucinating again. <laughs> No, yeah, no, I'm yeah, tired, okay. I have a concussion, I just got jumped. What else do I think right, is happening? Let me, let me, let me just wrap you out to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, go ahead if you'd like. Make an attack roll. All I I'm think is that I have a vision again. Ah, yeah, perfect, Alfred. This is perfect. Hold on. <laughs> it's a dirty 20. Wow. Alright. Uh, <laughs> So you do double oh damage. That's, nat, that's not a dirty twenty. That's a nat twenty. Ah, ah. Yeah, that was a strength. That was a strength save, not a actual strength check. <laughs> no, that was a strength it's check. Fine. It wasn't. Yeah, it that's was a strength, strength check. check. Oh. It's a strength check. <laughs> okay. Now, you managed to uh, snap Rafale out of it, Derek. By now, you would have uh, gotten up. You're a little groggy, but you're good. How much damage do I take? You're fine. Okay. You're Do fine. I realize what is it. happening or am I still bamboozled? You see, your friends have found you out in the wilderness. Marianne! Uh, oh! <laughs> Damn venom! Oh, my sights! 
that bad. You're not that old. Get <laughs> Devin? Oh, ah, oh, is that you? Yes, it is me. Hi. Am I dreaming? Now, now I would like you as much as I want you to find you. You take some time to cover cover now. <laughs> what just happened? Uh, Where said, am uh, I? Yeah, right over there. I, you said I'm gonna start pointing, pointing at Derek. You said I am. He's blocking the door. <laughs> <laughs> Derek stabbed uh, me. I poked you. Didn't stab you. Hey, poked you with the uh, pommel of his dagger. Ouch. <laughs> And someone decided to flashbang. I mean, think of it this way. He gets bonked in the kidney, doesn't know what it is, look behind him, basically sees this horrifying fanged face in front of him. All he thinks is, nope, flashbang. <laughs> yeah. Although it didn't work. I mean, what? And fortification. Kind of uh, and then the next time, the next thing I realize is, uh, well, Big flash bang, without the flash, but the bang, uh, and uh, the enemy comes flying towards me through the cover I made. And the cover's gone. Because yeah, <laughs> he breached the door basically. Sadly, sadly, even though your friends have found you, Ravale, you don't have any of your equipment still because they put it in your carriage. I know. <laughs> I know. Oh wait. Oh. oh. I, I don't know what to say. I'm I'm still surprised and uh, ouch. Now we got a bigger. What problem. happened? We got a bigger problem. What the we fuck is that bird out there? <laughs> yeah, there's a big turkey out there trying to eat us. Oh my god! You won't believe it, but I. As soon as you say turkey, you see something whoosh past the door. Back. Me think you're pissing it off. Oh. You start pointing at it. Yeah, I meant like it by uh, luckily tripping on the midst of the bridge. <sighs> well then, it's not Silvanus is doing. <laughs> ah. ah, wait. Yeah, I'm gonna look at. I might look at Jealousy, yeah, I might- Can you believe this shit? Am I hearing this shit right? Get the fuck out of your bed! <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you're watching! Where are we? What happened? You Why? shouldn't- You should- We're on a bridge, silly. I'm done with this, but let me Wow, out. yes. <laughs> Where? I'm gonna quickly grab- How did you find me? <laughs> You're not gonna fight it yet. <laughs> I'm surprised Devon came to, for me too. <laughs> I, I mean, thank you. You are, as much as some would say, you are still a healer that we need. <sighs> it would be a bad idea to leave you out here to die. I think yeah, I would like to take a good minus, berry. Bunny, how you got here? I would like Lord to take know, a good sorry. berry. <laughs> uh, uh, I got for healing bag. Four? Yes, four. Only four. I'm going to also hand him a couple Wait. of my poultices that he's given. Uh, I think I have my poultices with me. Does he? You would have two of your poultices with you. Okay, then I'll just... Damn it. Um... Uh... Where is the feet? Here, blessed here. You can cast a spell. Let's see, which was it? Ah, no, okay. Uh, check pose of life. No, where was it? This is a of life. Whenever you use a spell for your high dose to HP, the creature against it. Ah, yes, no, that is already. Yeah. Uh, I get plus for healing from the good berry. I'm now back up at 26. Uh, and you say I uh, have only two pulses with me. Where are they? Where are they? 
Äh, Potion of... No. Pultis, 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 Pultis. Healing, Healing Pultis. Oh shit, I had like 60 with me before I disappeared. For unknown <laughs> reasons. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll put them into the loot bag. One, two. Oof. Uh, or bag of holding. And I have two on me now. Ah, so much inventory management. Uh, add, wait, custom item. One moment. Oh god, come on. Pultis of healing. Not a lying healing. Uh, how many are you giving me, did you say? Two. two. You have two on you. Two on me. How much do you give me? I give you two. Ah, those are the two. Okay. What is a feeling? Okay. Note 28. Bonus action. Two. Well, thank you. Let me check. What's of feeling? Yeah, well, healing pot. Okay. Uh... Thank you. I would like to cast a spell and maybe heal me a little bit more. Uh, cure wounds. Uh, should be enough for healing word. Wait. How much does that give? We gain 24 to 7. 28 to 7. Can I use healing word on myself? Yes. You can use yeah, yeah, a creature of your choice. Right. Okay. Yes. I would like to say yeah, cast healing word on myself. <gasps> Sylvanus be blessed. Fifteen. The Bonus, das not work. That is already applied. Is this is a uh, disciple of life already applied? Mm. Or do I still have to do? Wait, does it matter? No, it does not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah. Okay, I'm good to go. Much better. <laughs> you came for me? How did you find me? I should give him my chain mail. Because I still have it on in my. Alright, so you got back. some chain mail now. Kind of cool. What you're going ahead to do. Well, there's a uh, tower down here we haven't checked out yet. Okay. Uh, people, by the way, Make those corpses, I did not kill them. There are more on the other side of the bridge. I don't know what happened here, but something happened. I would like to tell everyone what I've found so far and what I think has happened. And that everything is very suspicious. So, chain mail. Thank, yep, you. thank you. Yep, I gave you hey, my chain Hey, class 19. Nice. Also, Xana. Oh wait, no, she did see me. All right, never mind. You're staring at an iron-bound wood door. Let's go head back down. Right. Wait, where did you come from? Is it uh, is it locked? We went, came from. It is not locked. We came from this okay, way. Okay, do we okay. hear anything moving around on the other side? Oh, okay. You do not actually. West of the no. bridge. Is it open? Oh, right, it's a does not move. As it cracks open, you can see that there's a bar on the other side of it. Let's head back down. How uh -huh. far away does the bird fly? 
Like, what is it's, the range? It's fairly close to the bridge. All right, Derek, what you going to do? Can I get the crowbar in there enough to lift the bar? Ah. Give me a dex check with advantage since you're actually using the tool. Uh, is it in a 60 feet range? Uh, 24. You have managed to ease one side of the bar and slip it over the hook. You'll be able to ease open the door now. Yeah. Go. You gotta do that? Yep. Yeah. Wait, did Dara disappear again? Yeah. As okay. you enter, you see a cold hearth standing across from the door you enter. You can even hear the wind howling inside it. There's a star stone staircase to your right, and there's three windows looking out over the foggy sea below the mountains here. Okay. Nothing else of note in the room? Nothing else, really. Guess I'll head up the stairs. Alright. Right, what about us? This. Give me a sec here while I run through dirt stuff. You'll see the arrows here pointing to where it is you're going to head. Oh. Oh. That's cool. As you get to the upper floor, you feel a little chilly. It's far more manageable here. But it's still fairly chilly with windows set in almost every wall, almost like an ice box. There's a rusted iron ladder bolted to the floor in the middle, and it leads up to a wooden trap door in the ceiling. Mounted above the stone hearth here is a dire wolf's head. Instead of the wolf howling, however, you can hear the wind howling down the chimney. Heads yeah. about. Well. Okay. Nothing okay. else note in the room? <laughs> Nothing else. It's fairly barren. Okay. Well, let's see. I guess we'll go to the ladder. Does it look like it can... Does it look... Does it, despite the rust, does it still look like it's usable? It's actually bolted to the floor and to the ceiling. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. All right. Gonna poke your head up through the trap door then? Yep. Give me a stealth check. Uh, 21. As you oh, ease up the cool. trap door... You see four figures standing at each side of the tower, unmoving. However, as you look closely, you can see they're all bones, but still keeping watch. Wow. Hi. Are they moving in any way? No, as far as you can tell, they're kind of slumped over the parapets. Okay. Close this one. Anything of a note about the skeleton? Nope. They are actually unmoving. But most of their gear is tattered, broken, or rusted. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's nothing else of note up here. From where you are at the very top, you can see the whole of the area here. Wow. There's the side view off to the side there. Oops. 
And you can see the rock constantly circling just out of sight of the bridge, waiting for somebody to cross. Mm-hmm. It's sensed and seen some prey. It only needs to bide its time. Okay. Well, luckily for us, we can technically stay in here forever. <laughs> Not forever. We I mean, can. It's watching the bridge. It's, it's a lot watching... harder for it to uh, go around the mountain. Oh, so if we go ahead down towards. Technically, we can stay here and wait until it dies of hunger. Because I can <laughs> feed us. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> That is actually true. Yes, I'm, I'm self-sufficient. Think about it. I'm self-sufficient and I can provide you with whatever you need. Hmm. Food, water, a bath even, a toilet if you want. Don't press your luck. <laughs> a good Don't baby. This is starting to sound like the whole do you want a dinner, bath, or me thing. Oh god, just now. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with me? I'm a good healer. <laughs> so, let's try animal head. Oh, what? Alright, what you doing, Derek? I'll return to them. Tower we pass by on our way up here. Oh, that we pass by one. On we on our way to here is clear just some skeletons at the top. Ah right. Oh not you again. Right now I need everyone but Rivale to make me a constitution saving throw. Maybe it was the bird. No 16. it wasn't. There with okay. I would like to tell you too what I found on the other side of the bridge. And how the people no, 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 don't do died. God damn it! No. <laughs> All right. What's your constitution? Devin, your... you are lucky. Four, I don't know. Nine. Okay. I got a four. And look at me. So it's not loading up on the game logs here. So I'll give it one sec. Got bring up my so phone. Got a sixteen. Valus got a nine, and Zanus Fia got a fourteen. Oh, da, 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 let me double check. Da, 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 the description. What was the DC again? Valis. Yes. You gained one level of exhaustion due to the cold. Oh. Okay. Oh, and I would like to mention uh, the strange behavior of the rain. The fact that the rain stops literally halfway through the river? Yes. Let's not worry about that. Let's get out of here before we chill up. It's cold. Wait a second. When I came... Like, when I woke up, was I dry? You were a little bit wet, but you had dried off a bit. Uh, okay, never mind. I guess I came from the rainy side. Uh, David, are you mentioning uh, the skeletons? Yeah, just simple skeletons. Oh. Well, we have oh, skeletons here too. moving kind. Well, here too. They are not even undead. Dead. Are you mentioning how exactly the skeletons are standing? Me or Derek? Yeah, they're just slumped over where they, uh, they were watching guard. Oh, so they are not standing in place. Well, they're standing, but... They're like... bowed over the parapets, the edges of the yeah. tower. Ah, okay. Anyway, that is strange too. Oh, okay. Thank you for the info. That is strange. Everyone here died in their place. Some. Did you check the wounds of the skeletons? 
Like, how did they die? Did they got killed or did they just... David? Hello? He's gone. <laughs> how do I know always? My god, he's so sneaky like a fart. <laughs> He can appear out you of nowhere and suddenly him, step you. you. Asked him what they were like, what they're doing, and stuff, and now all of a sudden he's gone. Did he I mean, hear my question? He's going to double check. Oh. Yeah. Anyway. But you don't know that. Wait. Have I checked the corpse inside this room? You like, haven't. All oh, right. The scratches. Yes. Uh, this person died of scratches. Can I check it more closer? I would like to point out the scratches and check for more hints. Eh. Alright, give me an investigation check. I knew it. An 18. It's just a skeleton with uh, ruined gear. Yeah, so that's the interesting... Oh, a 20. That's the interesting part. Everyone, everyone, everyone here died in basically their spot. The only difference is that the barrack on this side, on the other side, that one there, that is empty, uh, the only difference is that the corpse, presumably, there got dragged out long time ago. So one guy or girl nope. died by a giant okay. pier through the chest. The other guy got decapitated, probably while sitting still, or maybe he said, no, wait, no, he must have been sitting because the head wouldn't have landed on his he uh, laps. This guy here? How is this guy standing or lay laying? He is slumped over in the corner on his side. This one is slumped all over to the corner on the side with scratches all over his body and the person there is simply missing. And now we have four more skeletons in the guard tower? I find it just, I find it relatively, you know, we're in an area that is quite dangerous already. I don't think there is anything I... super not or too, too far out there that could cut, that would be an, anything possibly could hit. I just want to... Uh, make it clear that whatever it was, it was either alone or it was in, in mass. You know, Does more it than really one. matter if it was alone or in pack? Well, if, it would be helpful dead. to know what it could have been for the future because one and person... considering there's a big freaking bird up in the air. Well, it was most likely not the bird, that's the thing. All of them died Surprise! By surprise, the first guy up there to the left uh, got pierced through the chest, spear and shield broken. The other guy got decapitated while sitting. A totally different like death scenario. Uh, it could be a sword, you know, or a claw. Uh, this guy here is scratched to death. The other one is simply missing. What the hell happened? Whatever it happened, it happened suddenly. How it happened, or why it happened. I think that's important for future reference. Damn, Venom, I mean, do you have an idea what that could have been? There's werewolves around, re werewolves out there. We've seen a, and fought a few. I wouldn't put it past them to do something like this. That could explain the scratches on this guy, but not the piercing wound on the other one and the decapacitation. Well, they could also ex with large talons. Wait a second. Uh, the corpses are they the same old? The same what? The old uh, like do they are they dead the same amount of time? How would I you think, expect that? I think he's me. Are they did they die around the same time? Yes, because I suddenly had the thought that maybe there's an invisible barrier that maybe keeps, uh, I don't know, certain creatures out of it, 
Like for example, werewolves on this tell, side. They all died around the same time. Yeah, I just had the idea that maybe something else kills them on this side and something totally else on the other side. It's getting too cold here. Yes. Oh, hello. Uh, did you find out about the skeletons? Something? This is enough time. That's yeah. not looking cold. Okay, no. what do we... Unless you want to cross the bridge with uh, Tweety out there. I think we go back south. Yes, let's go. Or west. Uh... Come on. <laughs> so, wait. But are, are we safe? I mean, I, I think we are totally in the <laughs> range of the bird. I mean, it's looking at the bridge. It's looking at the bridge, not... <laughs> if you want, it could look at you. I guess we go to the tower then. <laughs> no, we don't go to the tower either. Well, then, when, um, it's nice having a roommate. <laughs> make what? yourself comfortable. I can make some furniture out of stone if you want. Really? <laughs> uh... Come on, get hell. out and come down. Fucking hell. I'm running. <laughs> You've got armor now. Ah! <laughs> I'm running away. Okay. <laughs> Are we going to the tower? The moment no. I heard you want to be down. my roommate, I'm like, nope, I'm running. <laughs> I'm pointing at Can I take a look at the I tower? Went. And they were roommates. <laughs> nope. <laughs> uh, you can, but we're getting out of here. I would like to investigate <laughs> nope, what I nope, see. Nope. I want to go home. The tower's already been investigated. <laughs> Even the corpses? Okay. Much what the hell is this here? That's not. That's. That's nothing. That's nothing. You. You can't. You can't even tell. Can I take a look at the gate? There's literally nothing, just walk by. There's an iron portcullis that's raised. That's it. Yeah, that's basically it. You have no clue. I kind of... My intuition tells me to take a look <laughs> from above the tower. Please help me right now. Please help me <laughs> right now. I, come I need to know. We can't do this again. <laughs> the boy, we can't do this again. I swear to God. <laughs> You're going up to the very top? Carefully, peeking through the ledge. Or hedge, the, uh, hedge. The skeletons oh, are uh, <laughs> hung over the edge of the parapet. Do I see the bird? And the bird sees you. Roll me a deck save. I said carefully, looking through the hedge. You're wearing a chainmail. You're up about if you're looking about at the skeletons. I mean, I'm looking like through a little gap with the hedge. Of the, you don't yeah. even be able to see the one in front of you, but uh, give me that deck save anyway. Uh... Am I cold? My game log's not working. Alright, there we go. I got curious about that figure on, on the lower side of the gate with the flames. It has a 12. What, the, oh, this? What flames? Oh, you mean the T2 at the top of it? Yes. That's, that's a marker for my own purposes. Uh -huh, okay. <laughs> I thought maybe there's Did a you... secret. Would you like to retcon going up the tower, or...? Yes, please, I would, would I would like not to get snatched. Alright. Would I have gotten snatched? You would have gotten snatched. Okay! <laughs> what a wonderful day! Ooh, side view! What a wonderful view. day not to die. So, are you telling me about the fire, or not? Why? Why? <laughs> because it is so strange and out of place. Maybe. You didn't know it was there. You didn't you know it was there. You weren't even there. <laughs> the fire I is know. gone and out. <laughs> but are you telling me about it anyway? No. Why? We have no reason to. 
Yeah. No one is telling me anything. He was taken care of. I don't know, yeah, maybe. You can't, you can't complain about people not telling you anything if there's nothing to tell and you don't know it exists. I know. Yeah, you didn't know there was existence. You didn't know that there was a plane there, so... Do I notice uh, two giant crystals in their venom's pockets? Nope. nope. Okay. Stop looking. Leave my pocket alone. Stop talking to me. <laughs> Jeez, okay. Okay, so where are we? You are at the um... bottom of the mountains there. And this area that you were just at is Solenka Pass. Oh, is that strange? <laughs> That's not on the map. <laughs> oh, the pass! Oh, yeah. All right, what do you guys want to do now? Try and head back to where you were originally, or follow the path? Yeah. Oh, uh, I think we should try and get back to the carriage. Yeah. Where is the carriage? Oh, down there. The carriage is where the Y is. Oh, I see so. the tower. Your yeah. carriage would be right here. So I yes, guess. you're about a four. I'm running over. Whee! We're not. We're, not. we're down here oh, near the T. I? Yeah, I wouldn't have the T. So I'm out of T. Do like this. Talk. All right. I would say, considering your rolls that I had to make in the background were actually good, you managed to get back to your carriage with very little difficulty. Wow. All right. Well, set no. us something. I'd like, to to I'd like to pray to my uh, deity. Inside of his uh, carriage. Alright. Give me a run. Right. That is a 17. Your goddess is pleased with you. He will have a little bit of favor to pull on for a little while. Ravali, since you've managed to successfully get back, you would be able to put all your gear back on. Yay! However, you would not be able to wear the heavy gauntlet and your plate armor at the same time. Yeah, I figured this much. So that goes into... Uh, the... Back, I guess. Uh, thank you for your chain mail. You can have it back. You just lay it in here in case someone needs it. So, would you like to take back the chain mail? Very well. Okay, good. Then I'm going to delete it from my inventory and I'm going to re equip everything again. Like with prayer beads and about nature's glow, sending stone, crossbow, I like guess, crossbow bolts, a leather strap, plate, uh, no short sword. <laughs> I love that you guys almost did actually walk away from where Volley was and he almost did go the wrong way because of my issue with fucking flipping the map. Yeah. <laughs> I honestly, uh, like, to 60% I was thinking that I was going the wrong way and, like, actually going in deeper, maybe. Oops. We should probably head back to the winery then. The seeds. Yep. Got on transport. Okay. Let's ask the locals about this area that is not marked on the map. Um. Or better not. It's best that we don't, because I'm not sure they would, especially where it was at. Also, thank you for finding me. <laughs> I almost got adopted by the birds. Or eat. Yes. Most likely eat. Next time, make sure you uh, don't 
don't go wandering out alone. Would you like a good berry? <laughs> I am Hello, horses. Got our oh, sword. Does, does Ravale notice that I have a raven? That's no. Up to him. <laughs> It, it depends on the nephew if the raven is on her shoulder or if it's just a random animal flying around like nature. The raven's on my shoulder. <gasps> no, no, it's been on her shoulder this whole time. Oh, well, it, she didn't tell me. Oh, wait, who's that? Ah, this? This is my oh. raven. Oh, okay. That's a different raven than the one that warned me earlier. Uh, do you have a name for it? I... You can rename it if you'd like. What was it? What was its name? That's up for you to decide. Well... Crowley, maybe? <laughs> Shadow. Shadow. Okay. Yes. So do I have everything equipped again? Do I have any seeds in my rations? Uh, I would say no, unless you specifically bought some. Okay. Bank. I could take the good bear and see if the raven would take it, and see if Shadow would take it. Your hand it here. Um, is the rain still raining? Yes. Okay, so I guess. Hmm. We should return to this mountain one day. Perhaps. There is but, uh... something there. I don't know. Is the rain being caused naturally or through Strauss influence? I would worry about that when we get to somewhere we know we will be safe. Relatively safe. Yeah, so, um, is the rain, like, natural? Yes. Okay, that... We should probably head back to the binary. Negates that idea. Yeah, let's go back to the winery. Alright. I have so many thoughts and ideas and theories currently, but I would definitely like to return there. Yeah, I think we'll go all to the But winery. first we return to Ismar. Uh, I mean, uh, Piotr. We return uh, to Piotr. The winery is on the way there. Yes. Alright. Uh, yes, here we go. Best to stop at the winery before we... Yeah, uh, let's go to the winery. Uh, give what we found. What did you find again? You found two of the magic seeds. Ah, yes. One underneath the Galia tree and one from Winter Splinter. Can I have a closer yeah. look at those seeds? Sure, if you'd like. I would like to roll for nature. They're not nature made in... I would like to roll for Arcana. Alright, roll it. I will give him assistance. Okay. I'll just start driving the carriage. <laughs> uh, what does assistance do? Advantage. Advantage. Ah. Okay. Uh, 14, much better. 16. What are those? Magical seeds. That's all you can tell about him. Let's return to the winery and ask uh, the wine people about that. About these. So yeah, we have Derek, Derek, Derek leading the uh, carriage. So, we are yeah. carriaging now. For now, obviously, he wasn't wanting to stay in place. <laughs> I find it curious that the bird was not following us across the river. 
find it rather lucky that you didn't get snatched and eaten. Oh yes, I tripped. <laughs> Sometimes a bad roll is not always a bad roll. Yeah, I learned this lesson today. By the way, uh, how much XP do we get? <laughs> None. No. Okay. We didn't fight anything. We didn't. You said fuck this and left. Yeah, we have stuff to do. Uh, can we go to the winery now, please? You can. Yes, please. We can't move the carriage if you are waiting for us or something. I was just waiting for you to finish talking. Uh, so, yeah, did we finish talking? Anyway, thank you for returning. And thank you, Sylvanus, for your, right. I guess, guidance. Uh. And help. You're welcome. <laughs> and again, you guys too, thank you for help uh, finding me. How did you do that? I was like four hours away, holy moly. Well, you can thank our, uh, thank Derek for that. Where is he? Exactly. <laughs> Who's <is> driving? <laughs> For all yeah, intents and purposes, you, just, a... you just see the reins on the fucking thing. You don't even see him. Yeah, uh, just only... floating. Just a silhouette and the droplets well, hitting something. Well, next you see him, you might want to thank him. Or maybe just thank him outright, even though he's not. He's. You don't see David, him. David, are you here? Shit, people, we, we, we forgot David. <laughs> I would say just go ahead and think. Do we turn think. back? No. no. Okay. <laughs> Why? What if he, he got missing now? Out of all nah, the people in your fine. group, I think Derek would be the most likely to survive something. <laughs> just because nothing would ever be able to find him. Exactly. <laughs> and maybe them Venom too. Can't get killed if they can't find you. Uh huh. Dan, can you hear? Anyway, thank you. Now let's uh, move on, please. Let's hand over these. Dan, when am I telling me? Dan, when am I telling me about what was inside the book? Maybe. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot about the book. <laughs> or maybe someone is telling me about any gossips from the tavern in the Abbey? Uh... <laughs> well, okay then. Um, Let's move on, I guess. One play inside. I think he should at least have an idea of what was in that book. The book? Sure. I'm gonna pull out my, the book. Out of nowhere. There you go. <laughs> oh, nice. Thank you. Now, do not read it out loud, you little shit. <laughs> Why? Don't read. Just Trust don't. me. It Trust says, us. I am the ancient? No. Shush. Oh. Read it quietly. Read it. Oh, you're doing that. I'm going to go ahead and hand over these. And oh. ask about them. Do I still have the crystals? The green crystals, by the way? You yes. Do. I will tell you what those are at the after the session. Okay. Hey, here's the seeds back. He thanks you for the two seeds, but unfortunately he does not know where the third one is. I get... oh. The what? The third one? <laughs> <laughs> they are sweet? I ain't keep them here. <laughs> I have never given a side eye so hard right now. God, <laughs> I'm side eyeing you. I, I'm side eye at you. <laughs> God doesn't need to side eye you. He's just shotgunning. All you hear is the slight. I'm <laughs> like, <laughs> side eye? Hello? Do <laughs> it. Who are you to side eye me? Uh, the one player that you absolutely hate. 
If I hated you, I would give you the ability to fuck up everything around you. <laughs> <laughs> that one character that you gave a middle finger like so twice. Please. Please. <laughs> oh. Actually... oh. What are the benefits of these seeds? Are you asking Mardikov? Yeah. Oh, he essentially uh -huh. details that they've been passed down through the family for so long they don't know where they originate, but by planting them in the vineyards, they speed up the growth of the grapes and everything and enable them to harvest grapes essentially year-round, thus allowing them to make wine all the time. I see. Thank you. How long are the seats around? He doesn't know. They've been here forever. Okay. Aren't you reading a book? <laughs> oh! How intriguing. Wait, what? <gasps> I don't even know if you remember. <laughs> oh my god, I don't even know if you remember. I remember. Oh. Do you? I remember. <laughs> I remember. Alright, we should probably head back. But okay, I have no further questions. Uh, I would like to abstain from asking this person about the secret path, after all. I mean, it's not on the map, so let's maybe not uncover it to others. Exactly why we said, don't say it out loud. <laughs> okay. Now, can I have it back so I can put it back? Uh, yes, yes, you can have it back. Thank you. Mm. And it disappears. I made it disappear. <laughs> How did you do that? that Don't worry about it. No question. Do. Okay. Did you learn that from that guy in Frandelva? Wait, I don't know. I wasn't there. Never mind, forget what I said. Let's continue uh, traveling across the road. Everyone here? Damn Venom. Check. Okay. Zanafia. Check. Okay. okay. David. <laughs> may check or may not gonna... be checked. I don't know why you think you're going to get a check from him. <laughs> gonna be honest. Okay. Let's call him Schrodinger. <laughs> Okay, I guess it's continue driving back to the Abbey. Alrighty. Uh, and bring up my table here real quick. It was a 12, okay. Pop. Hmm. Mount Gebakis. The map says that the mountain is called Mount Gebakis or something. I can't really Besides make it. Besides some wildlife crossing your paths, or at least in the forest, you are largely left alone. And there's a tower again. You are back in town. What time of day is it? By now, it will have been nighttime. Wow. So it's probably best we spunk wow. out for the night. I mean, okay. if you did a travel eight hours from this morning, and then even more hours from before. Mm -hmm. It's dark. Okay, is uh, Pyotr uh, inside his barrack? Do you remember which one that is? Yes, it was this one. No, he is not. Is he inside or is he outside? He is not inside. Damn it. Okay, uh, I'll go check on the guard then. It's late. Oh, I'll go check on the tavern, just in case. Yeah, of course it's late. Do you think no guards are at this time patrolling the walls? <laughs> you should get some rest. Oh, you so do you 
Do you really think they'd leave the walls <laughs> unattended at night time? Uh, whatever. I would like to enter the... I uh, wait a second. Am I... Wait before I enter. I... Okay, I... Am I wearing the robes? Okay. I am entering without the head and the robes. And I'm just entering with a hello, maybe. Yeah. Hello. I am back. Uh, I would like to ask with the tavern keeper, innkeeper? Barman? Mm -hmm. The guy yes. in charge here. Uh, if he talked with Piotr. He says Piotr's out on duty at the moment. I'm going to ask if he has any sort of food I could uh, purchase for the raven, for Shadow. Hi, kitty. Food for yourselves and for the raven? Yes. Da, da, da. Let's see here. And, of course, room. So, did Piotr and the barman talk to each other today? Yes. Give me one sec here. Okay. That is all I wanted to know. All right. And... Nope. Trying not to do that. There we go. Alrighty. Would you like to hear what the menu is then? Yes. For this inn, called the Skulking Rabbit, they have hellhound livers. It's just essentially spicy wolf livers with chopped beets and a slab of whole grain bread for five silver. A goose bisque with baked celery serving with a wedge of applewood cheese for four silver pieces. They have a stuffed blackbird with roasted black-eyed peas for three silver. Some goose wings covered in warm mushroom sauce served with a chunk of cheese for four silver pieces. Pan-fried walleye with stewed potatoes, olives, and a piece of bread for three silver pieces. And cricket bits served with diced chili peppers, lima beans, and a wedge of some bread. They also have some of the wine not a whole lot available, but it's from the local winery. Mm. What was the hellhound? Hellhound. Hellhound livers is essentially wolf livers spiced up with some chili peppers and with chopped beets and some bread. A whole slab of bread. That's five silver. Okay. Yep. The... You guys go ahead and order what you want. I'm grabbing the Hellhound liver. Oh, I, 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 I'm good to go. I, I ate a good berry today. <laughs> I would like to She's look. She's just going to straight look at it. You need more. I know no. the good berries can completely fill you up, but you need more sustenance than a good berry. No, I there actually do not. Dara, what would you like to order? Oh, the Hellhound liver sounds tempting. All right, Valis, what would you like? Uh. Would what you was like it me? Again? There, would you like me to go through the list again? Yeah. There is some wolf livers with some diced chili peppers called Hellhound livers with chopped beets mm -hmm. and a slab of bread, goose wings and a warm mushroom sauce with a chunk of Swiss cheese. A goose bisque with big celery and a wedge of applewood cheese. Pan fried hey. walleye with stewed potatoes, olives, and some bread. I a potato. I want that one. <laughs> you want the pan fried walleye? Yes. Alrighty, that's three silver pieces from you. Okay. And also buying a room for us. For all of you, that would amount to 40 silver. A night, so ten silver each. Okay. 
Um, I would uh, like to go and look for Pyotr. Do you know where to look? The vaults. It is dark out. You're going to travel the entire wall. That's 15 silver for me. I would like Each to ask the guards. Each square is 50 feet. I would like to start at the gate. I might Hello. Also mention Have you seen Pyotr? If he's not on the wall, he's patrolling the town. I'm gonna mention is he Shadow. on the wall? One sec, Bravali. What's that? Is that I a female? I mentioned to Shadow if... Is it male or female? What would you like it to be? Female. It is a female, then. If she wants any... A little bit of something from my plate. You're gonna hop over to the slab of bread and start pecking at it. Oh. <laughs> I don't see it. Nope, because you left. I know we have much more important things to do. We haven't seen Pyotr since when we, like, got here. What are you gonna talk to Pyotr about? Everything that happened, but in person. Everything and checking on him good? how he's doing. Okay. I'll g give me an investigation check real quick, Rivale. What if he got abducted or he left? At 20. Natural 20. God is on my side. You know that Piotr is in town somewhere. Yeah, I figured as much. What do the yeah. guards say at the gate? They just said he's either on the wall or yeah. patrolling the town. So he did not came through here. Nope. Nobody's leaving the town. They're behind walls right now. Okay, good. Alright. Does the Abby know, the maybe? What is the rest of the party doing? Wait, me and the me and Shadow are eating. All right, are yeah, you just gonna you. keep searching for your Piotr throughout the night, then, Ravali? Yes, and I would like ask if maybe the administrative of uh, the Epi knows where Piotr is or where he's stationed. The administration stationed. office is shut down for the night. Damn it! Yeah, I'm. If you see guys and girls, if you see Piotr on the walls, tell him. I would like to talk with him finally. Or he All should right. please search for me too. At the Phallus, tavern or the carriage. Thank you. Phallus, Sanofia, Derrick. Yes. I'm going to give you the effects of long rest. Revale, give me eight perception checks. Four of them at disadvantage. Four perception checks. I have advantage with perception, so I roll with normal? That only applies when you use your ability. Ah, uh, oh, okay. I guess normal, okay. At disadvantage, you say? Yep. Okay. Perception, disadvantage, roll. A five or a nine. Do I roll again? Yep. Oh, okay. Add disadvantage. Four times rolling. Okay, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. It's still a nine. Or a nine and twelve, depending on what is happening. Yep. Another one. Oh, that's two of them. Yep. Yes. So. Nine and twelve. Okay. Two more perception checks at disadvantage. Okay. Uh. Wait, that was normal. Ah, that was normal. Sorry. 
I'll count that as one of the four normals. Okay. Come on. Okay, this one is a, like, this roll overall is a 10, and again, but with a disadvantage, sorry. Four rolls, that's something new. No four normal, four at disadvantage. So, 9, 12, 10, and 10. Mm-hmm, and one more at disadvantage. That was the fourth one. He asked for eight totals rolls. Eight four total rolls. Yeah. Yes. Four, four, four of normal. them at disadvantage, four of them normal. Yeah. Oh, now I, I have to roll normally. I need one more disadvantage from you. Oh, okay. I, I, okay. Whatever you say. It's. An 11. Okay, now give me three normal rolls. Okay, one. Two. Three. Three. There we go, three. What is happening? The numbers, Morty, what do they mean? <gasps> something is going to that, happen. You're making me think of something else. <laughs> something is going to happen. I feel it in the air. I feel it in the mountains. I feel it in the forest. A Dark Lord rises up with a ring of power. Sorry. Alright. Give me higher low. Last time I said low, this time I say higher. Unfortunately, throughout the night, it seems as if you're always behind Piotr but unable to catch up as you stop, double check, triple check your areas and make sure you haven't bypassed him. Each check was for one hour since you said you'd spend the night looking for him. As such, you do not get the benefit of a long rest, and you suffer a point of exhaustion. I'm so exhausted. That's what happens when you do something like that. It's important! <laughs> and they cannot wait till the morning. Uh, we are in Boravia. Time is of... Uh, what, 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 what do you say? Time is of essence. Yes. Alrighty. Uh, yes, what? but your uh, health is as well. <laughs> I'm fine. Alrighty. That is it for today, since you guys have managed to regroup, Hi. not get carted off by the rock, and get back safely. We have, we have eight more minutes. Been three hours on my side. Oh, <laughs> not but for me, please. Got to be I will send got you off. all off to get some sleep because, like always, I know you guys got stuff to do. But thank you for dropping by. So, uh, our reward for last boss fight were new abilities. Yep. Oh, that's cool. Rivale, would you like to uh, mention what exactly is going on out of character? No. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright then. We shall adjourn until the next session. You know yes, what I was thinking have about a nice when, week. He, when he said the numbers? What? The numbers, Mason. What do they mean? <laughs> Black Ops 1. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I know. Not for but... you. <laughs> I know, but I, I, I had to put that in because he, he's the one that asked it, so I, I wanted to interact with that. Alrighty. All of you, go away. Get some sleep. I won't be going okay. to bed till midnight. You know, you know what? I'm going to be petty. I'm going to sit here. I'm kidding. No, I'm leaving. No, let us continue goodbye. playing. No. Goodbye. Oh, okay, goodbye. goodbye. Have a good okay. week, everyone. Bye. And weekend. You too. Bye bye. Bye bye. I'm happy I got away, but that's what I was hoping for. <laughs>
Thank you for the rescue. Bye. Goodbye. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen. That was it. Um, yeah, thank you for being here. That was quite something unique. Um, I wonder what happened. I was... Oops, I'm sorry. I was uh, praying. Yes. And uh Yeah. I was somewhere else. Um I am so lucky, like Wow. Okay. Um I should have went lower. Ah, then I would have maybe found Piotr finally. But yeah, anyway, um, goodbye everyone. More next weekend. Sunday for me, Saturday for maybe you. And I'll see you back on Monday. Auf Wiedersehen everyone. And I hope to see you again, um, well, next week. Bye bye. Uh, do we write someone? Eh. Bye-bye.